In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the pressure switch on a Campbell Haasfeld oilless air compressor. Before we can remove any of these components, we need to make sure that the air is drained out of the tank. So I'll open the drain valve on the bottom of the tank. With all of the pressure drained out of our tank, I'll just go ahead and close the drain valve. Now I'll remove the coupler from the regulator. Just use an adjustable wrench to do this. Now I'll remove the regulator from the pressure switch. I'm actually going to unthread the small nipple between the regulator and the pressure switch from the pressure switch. It'll just be easier to remove that way. Next, we need to remove the wires from our pressure switch. We'll start that by removing the pressure switch cover. Now I have access to the wire connections inside of the pressure switch. Before I remove any of these wires, I want to take note of the location of each wire, or maybe even just take a picture. Now I'll go ahead and remove the wires. I'll start with the wires that go from the motor to the switch. Next, the cord wires. and now both of my ground wires. Both of the cords are held to the pressure switch with a strain relief. To remove it, I just squeeze the tab on the strain relief, and then I can pull it away from the switch. Next, we have this air line that leads from the check valve to the pressure switch. And I'll remove that from the pressure switch. Next, I'll remove the pressure gauge from the pressure switch. And now I can unthread the pressure switch from the nipple on the tank. Now we can begin installing our new pressure switch. Before I thread the pressure switch back onto the compressor, I want to use a little bit of thread tape on the connection. We we'll want to use this tape on all of the pipe connections as we reassemble. Now I'll connect the air line back to the pressure switch. This connection doesn't need tape as it's a compression fitting. Next I'll replace the pressure gauge. This connection will use some tape.
Now the pressure relief valve. Now we can begin making wire connections. First I'll thread the motor wires up through the bottom of the pressure switch and secure them in place with the strain relief. Now the cord wires from the top. Next I'll reattach the ground wires. Now I can make the rest of the electrical connections. I'll start with the neutral and hot wire from the cord. And then the neutral and hot going to the motor. And that's all of our connections inside the pressure switch, so now I can replace the cover. And now I'll reattach the regulator to the pressure switch and again a little thread tape. And we'll finish up by reinstalling the coupler.